You can see all the workouts in this course on Amazon in wellnessplus.tv. Hey, it's Hannah from Vagana Hannah. Welcome to a 10 minute HIIT training workout for sculpted shoulders and back. This isn't an area we really think of much, but when I'm in a bikini competition, I'm being scored on every muscle in my body. Plus, it helps improve your posture and relieves that tension you get in your neck and back. And it can help you with other exercises as well. So for this workout, I have the timer with me. All you need is a comfortable force place and maybe some water. Let's go ahead and get started. We have three movements for three rounds each and just follow along with me and you'll be good. So first movement is a shoulder plank tap. So you're gonna tap the shoulder, keeping the hips still. Or drop to your knees if you need some extra stability. Are you ready? Let's go. In three, two, and one. 40 seconds, high intensity here. How many reps can you get? How much can you squeeze that shoulder and core? Raise those knees up if you need more of a challenge. Keep breathing. Halfway there. Let's keep going, nice and strong. Try not to go crazy with the rocking. Keep those hips nice and level. Five seconds, three, two, one, and down. When you rest, really rest. You can sit back, you can stretch as well, just like this. But you only get 20 seconds, so make the most of it. Get ready in five, three, two, and one. Here we go again, round two of three for this movement. Remember, core nice and tight. We really want to push for each interval. This high intensity interval training will really help burn more calories even after our workout if we ma maximize each movement. Halfway, keep pushing. 10 seconds, earn your rest here. Make sure that you need it. Three, two, one. Good, your heart rate should be elevated now. 15 seconds, big deep breaths. In and out. Try to get the heart rate down as much as possible. Five seconds, get ready. Always be prepared to start as soon as the timer goes off. We wanna maximize our time. Tap, tap, core tight. Feet planted nice and strong. You got this, last time, let's make it good. Keep pushing, feel those shoulders burning. Almost there. Let's get some strong arms today. Seven. Three, two, one. Good. Rest. Next movement, we have a Superman IYT. You're gonna come up, I, Y, and a T. Thumbs up, really hit those rear deltoids, the back of the shoulder. Get ready, let's go. I, Y, T, squeeze. I, Y, don't forget to breathe. T, really squeeze the back as hard as you can. Take your time if you need to. Feel those muscles working. Up, lift high. You can even get some glute action in there. Keep it up. I, Y, T, seven seconds. I, Y, T, and rest. You can just lay down, but stay awake. 15 seconds, get ready. 
really squeeze all up here like you're gonna try to crack an acorn with your shoulder blades. Get ready. In three, two, one. Even higher this time. I, Y, T. Keep moving those arms. This will really help your posture and your range of motion. A lot of us have poor flexibility in the shoulders, which inhibits us when we're doing other things. Y, T. I, Y, T, 10 seconds. I, Y, you should be burning now. I am, I, Y, T, hold, and down. It's a good thing to hold the last repetition, really get some extra muscle burn. 10 more seconds in the last set for this exercise. Get ready, five, three, two, one. Even more than before. Now that you're warm, you should be able to push harder. I, Y, T, don't give up. Keep going along with me. You can do it. Y, T, squeeze those shoulders as much as you can. Really focus on that upper back as we go. Breathe. Seven seconds. Your lower back should be burning too. Hold and rest. Good job. Now we have pike push-ups. These are gonna be upside down, hands wide. Tap that head to the mat, elbows behind you. Get ready, three, two, and one. These are challenging. So if it's too much of a challenge, go halfway and just focus on holding this inverted position. And this will help you with your handstands. We always wanna think about what exercises we can progress to, because the body is always adapting. So we wanna keep challenging it, giving it harder things to do, so we can continue to see results. Three, two, one. Go ahead and rest. Bring your head up so you're not upside down for this whole period of time. Deep breaths. You should be out of breath like me. Get ready, seven seconds. Only two more rounds and you're finished. So stay strong with me, come on. Come up, down. Hands wide as you can. And you'll get your triceps too. That's what's great about compound movements. Working multiple muscles at the same time. Down, up. Halfway, breathe in, out, in, out. Keep pushing. 10 seconds, come on. Remember, less range of motion if you need and rest. You're doing good. This is our last period of work. You can do it. 10 seconds, lower the heart rate, big deep breaths, fully recover. Five, three, two, and one. This is it, last chance. Make the most of the time you have with me. Really push yourself. You have all day to rest after this. So no excuses. Breathe in, out. Come on, let's get some strong shoulders. Beautiful posture. You got it, halfway. If I can do it, so can you. Keep pushing. 10 seconds, come on. Last few. Five. Three, two, one, and down. Good job. Thank you so much for working out with me today. 
I'd encourage you to pair this with my sculpted arms video and follow along the rest of my workout series. Find the information in the box below and have a great day. Competing as a natural bodybuilder has challenged me to learn the best moves for sculpting and shaping the entire body. Adding in the HIIT training component keeps you burning fat for 24 to 36 hours after your workout so you can see results fast. Woo! I'm burning, I don't know about you. These are the moves that helped me win natural bodybuilding competitions and now I'm teaching these moves to you. My course is available on Amazon and wellnessplus.tv at the links in the video description below.